Hey YouTube, what is going on? It's Huncho here, back with another video. I'm doing another video that I did like this in the past, but I'm expanding on it a little bit more because I know it was a big hit. So let's jump right into it. If you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any videos in the future. So with the win 32 priority, I know that most people have tested a lot of these values, but Regnotic actually made this program here and put the credit of the people who came up with and tested these other values. So I thought it would be easier just to also show this program as well as the credit for these values. Now you can also go into the registry and type these in manually. If you just go to reg edit, and then you're gonna go down to local machine, system, current control set, control, scroll down to priority control. It's gonna be right here. So I'm gonna walk through how I tested this as well and put a guide down in the description in case you get kind of confused on how I did this because Felipe made a good guide about this. But essentially I did three runs of Fortnite replay mode. I went into a game by myself into Lazy Lake and just ran around and looted for about a minute and 20 seconds and then I took 60 seconds of that and ran the exact same trial every single time for all of these values. So then you can aggregate the data and then compare it. Now the one thing I want to stress with this about testing for yourself is every single OS, every single person's system is going to run differently. So that's why you should just test these values yourself instead of just plugging them in. But if you've already gone through and tested the previous values, I wouldn't even mess around with those because you know what you're going to get. I would just test the one or two that you know give you the best results. So you can see that hex 26, 28, and then 7777 and 5555 at the best FPS max, with these three being virtually the same, and then it slowly starts dropping off as we go down here. Hex with the sevens had the best for average, and you can see the drop off as I'm going down. Two of the most important ones to test are when you're going for the least, the 1%, which is the fives, 28, and sevens for me, are virtually all the same. And you can see all the way down to 428 here at the bottom. And then when you go into another metric called adaptive standard deviation, which if I show you on the analysis page, that's how far off on average all of the data points are from the running average. So if I switch to this one, you'll see that it's an 11. 11.2 and the lower this number is is the less stuttering you're going to get if you're getting values that are at like 16 17 in the 20s don't mess around with those so when i go back to comparison for that you can see that the highest is going to be your worst you want to try the bottom and seven was the best then 28 and the fives so from this data for me i'm going to try out basically these three in game and in creative and just mess around with them do some free builds because when you're talking about the best three you might not see that much of a difference but there might be something that you're like wow my game just doesn't feel as smooth when i'm on this one or i feel like i can hit triple edits whichever one that you feel the most confident on is the one that i would try for yourself and if you're watching this and you play a different game like valorant or apex legends more than fortnite and that's the game that you play like semi-competitively Make sure you test with that game, not just Fortnite, because everything runs different between games and systems. So just to quickly go over how I tested, like I said, it was in replay mode. This program called OCAT is how you capture. So I would set a capture hotkey, capture time in 60 seconds. I delayed it three seconds. And then my output folder, I changed to the cat frame x folder or you can just keep it as this folder in your documents and then just copy paste it over to the cat frame x and then when you go to aggregate them you're essentially just gonna double click on the say three trial runs you want and then aggregate either including or excluding the outliers make sure you're consistent across that point when you're testing multiple and then when you go to compare you're just going to use the aggregated data 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and subscribe if you have not already. Peace out.